Twisting off an aluminum screw cap may lack the style and sophistication of uncorking a fine bottle of wine. But as devices go, these caps are one of the easiest ways to put an airtight seal on a bottle or jar. And the added bonus is that they're entirely recyclable. There are hundreds of everyday objects that are capped. This plant makes 250 million metal screw caps yearly in 12 different sizes. The caps are made from these 11 square foot sheets of aluminum weighing one pound. Some 3,500 thin aluminum sheets pass through this feeder. They begin by coloring the aluminum sheet with a colored varnish, a lacquer, and an ink. Then 12 minutes of drying is needed. The colored sheets set off on a conveyor for drying. Then designs are produced. The coloring is applied by this varnisher. The aluminum sheets pass through the varnisher one at a time. Here we see the sheet printed. Above are the colors used. They are highly colored inks that adhere well to metal. Suction cups grab the sheets and send them toward the transport system of the punch press. This press will give the caps the required shape. But the caps have to be machined in successive steps by molds such as this one. The punches first cut the caps. Over 500 caps a minute can be produced. The blades of the punches are made of carbide, a very hard metal that can cut tens of millions of caps. At the exit point of the punch press, the caps are formed but don't yet have the right dimension. This stretching press performs the last two cold forming steps so that the tube will have the required length. Now for the second stretching. This achieves the desired diameter. When the cap exits the press, it will finally have the desired dimensions. At this point, the cap now has the required shape. The caps now have to be decorated to the client's requirements. The lateral imprint is made with this silkscreen type decorator, which colors some 100 caps in 60 seconds. The decorator uses an ink specially formulated to adhere to metal. The caps will then dry in a warm air oven. The dried caps are ejected and fall into a container. This other flexographic type of decorator prints 155 caps a minute. We can clearly see the ink roller, which imprints the side of the caps as they rotate against it in a steady stream. All that's required now is to form the cap and make the cut. The profiling and jointing machine makes the cuts and reliefs on 200 caps per minute. Machining the cap takes but a fraction of a second. They sometimes have to assure the water tightness of a container such as a wine bottle. For this, a polypropylene liner is inserted, which hermetically seals the container. A check is carried out under a light to verify whether the cut has been properly made and the ridge is well formed. At last, the final steps. This screw tightening machine hermetically seals the caps onto the bottles. The 250 million screw caps made here each year call for the machining of 1,000 tons of aluminum.